sure there's a big one there. Got it. You're going to come down the back. I'm looking for other misalignments. Here's one here. Ooh. That one made a little crack, <laughs> right? Heard. That one made a crack. Woody made a big crack. <laughs> RS was founded in 2007 by my partner Christina Chavis um, and we have been in the rescue business ever since. Animal Rescue R Us is an organization that really doesn't turn away dogs. If we're able to help, we will. We take a lot of special needs. We take seniors, we take nursing moms, we take families um, and we really try not to say no if we don't have to. So if someone wanted to make a monetary donation, they can go to our website and there is a secure link there. His nails look good. You're not in trouble. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so Woody is a four-year-old chihuahua. He came into the rescue with really bad hips. He had surgery on one, which was rough, the recovery. Mm -hmm. um, he's about 50% muscle loss in okay. his back. So. Okay. So we, we're not going to do too much range of motion because he has surgical intervention on his hips. But I do want to look at his neck first. And... The first thing I feel is a right atlas. And so this is what a dog atlas looks like. Do you smell that? That smells good, right? And it's plastic, so it's not a real bone. And the spinal cord goes in the middle like this, like my finger. And these we call the wings because it looks like a little butterfly wings. And I'm going to get on. The right side is up wedged towards the skull. So I'm going to pull it down so it would be shifting it. And when I say I get on the wing of the atlas, I'm getting in right here and pulling it down. And it'll take pressure off the spinal cord if there's torque in there. So I'm going to start up here. And no, nope. got it. Ooh, they're even now. So you can put your fingers in here and the gaps are even. Yes. I should have let you feel beforehand. Yeah, I can so, feel it though. But yeah. before, this side was wedged closed. So I'm going to bring his Woody's head all the way up and bring his head all the way down to the sternum. No problem there. I'm going to bring Woody's head all the way this way and all the way, let's see, all the way this way. That side's really resistant. So we do have more stuff on the right. So we had right atlas, right superior atlas, and we're going to look for more cervical. There's one here at C3. Sorry about the elbow. It's okay. <laughs> Good. And one more. Good. Now he's licking a little bit, so let's let him feel that for a second. And now we're going to retest it, okay? So we're going to see if I can get range of motion. So the left is always good. And let's bring him all the way to the right. Bring him to the right. I got to come to that side because I can't reach that far. So you're going to switch sides with yep. me. Hi, Woody. Sorry about scaring you so much. You're like, who is this guy? So we're going to bring Woody's head this way. Now, you're on that side, so he's yeah, sniffing you. Yeah, I'll go yeah stay over here with me. Okay, and I'm going to just bring his head around. Still resistant. I'm missing something, Woody. I don't know what it is. got to keep looking. Hmm. So, a little bit posterior on the right. Got it. That one even made a little click. Did you hear it? It's hard to hear. Yeah. <laughs> You're partying Just, neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> but we have outside, I live in New York City, and outside is... um a soccer bar where they watch oh. international soccer games and they cheer and drink and go crazy all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm talking oh, about? I made a friend. Oh. 
All right, let's try one more time. Woody, you have to give me the right range of motion to the right. Okay, so let's try. You're gonna bring your head all the way around. Oh, there it comes. Got it, okay. That was tough, Woody. You really made me work hard for that. But remember Woody's right side, okay? So Woody has all muscle knots up and down the right. Here, feel this here. And that's something you could rub Look out. out. Okay. Oh, right here. Yeah, you feel that one? Yeah. So a lot of it is muscular. And I'm pointing right here. So he's got a chain of tight muscles. Now part of it is from the misalignment. So as I reduce those, mis those misalignments and we're, we call them subluxations in chiropractic, where the bone is misaligned and it's interfering with the normal nerve impulse that comes from the brain down the spinal cord and out to the rest of the body, but it also creates chronic spasms. So there's a big one there. Got it. And you're gonna come down the back. I'm looking for other misalignments. Here's one here. Ooh. That one made a little crack, <laughs> right? That one made a crack. Woody made a big crack. All right, Woody. So hold his head for a second. Let's just. So he's got that back leg, right? Mm hmm. And I'm going to just do one little spot here with my fingertip. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. Okay, done. All right, Woody, I'm going to put you down now, okay? Let's put you down and let's just let you have a moment to yourself. Good. So he had a good little shake. So turn to me when when a, hor a horse, well, a horse will lick and chew, but a dog might go like... <laughs> And that's a good thing, it's kind of resetting. And it means it integrated the adjustments and we like to see that. 